Is Tony Khan buying Impact Wrestling? ODB says she's returning to Impact Wrestling and the social media team for Impact Wrestling screws up. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Before I get started, I want to remind everybody again, and I, and I know I've been doing it week after week, but I do have my own YouTube channel. It's called the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. We have a new show debuting. It's going to be um, debuting uh, next Sunday, and it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be uploaded every Sunday after that. It's called the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday Special. It's going to be a, a group of interviews that I'm doing with pro wrestling talent across the world of professional wrestling. And the first interview is with the, someone that you're very familiar with, Aiden Prince. So the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday Special interview debuts next Sunday with Aiden Prince. And I did record another episode. The second episode was done with a 15 year veteran in the world of professional wrestling, Jeremy Prophet. So Aiden Prince, Jeremy Prophet, they're uploading now to YouTube. The first episode debuts next Sunday on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Okay, let's get going. And actually, before we get going, I just want to say, if you head on over there, hit that subscribe button. Please head on over there and hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on any really cool content on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Okay, now we can get going. Now we can get going. Uh, Tony Khan. Tony Khan. Is Tony Khan buying Impact Wrestling? A lot of people are, are posting about this. And a lot of people on, on social media are saying, oh, Tony Khan, he should just buy Impact Wrestling already. Or uh, Tony Khan, when's he going to buy Impact Wrestling? Or... Um, Tony Khan, is he buying Impact Wrestling? And I go, what's going on? And even the overtimer, the overtimer put out an article um, that reads, is AEW's second show going to be Impact Wrestling? So the rumors are out there. The rumors are out there. They're running rampant that Tony Khan is, is going to write a check and he's going to buy Impact Wrestling from Anthem. Uh, so let me read this article here. It says, there have been talks about AEW having a second show for a while now. Although we don't have much information on what this is, what if it's staring us right in the face? Oof. Oh, such great journalism there. What if it's staring at us right in the face? Oof. That, that hits home, man. That hits this hard-hitting journalism there. But uh, that is a, the, the, this, this ending with Tony Khan actually buying Impact Wrestling. It's okay. It, says, it goes down. It goes, Tony Khan has also appeared on Impact recently when Private Party wrestled. The first time that he appeared as a character after saying he doesn't want to do that, the owner of a company doesn't usually appear on another company's program. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those years, yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess you haven't been paying attention to Don Callis over the last couple of weeks. I hate those. Don Callis, um, well, okay, Don Callis, he doesn't own, he doesn't own Impact Wrestling, but he's an executive vice president, right? And he's one of the executives there. So I guess you could say an executive doesn't normally show up on another company's program as well, but Don Callis has been doing it week after week after week. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Don Callis is scoping out the competition. Maybe uh, he's gonna go back to Anthem and sit down with Scott tomorrow. Maybe at Impact Wrestling. Maybe Anthem wants to buy AEW. That that could be a rumor. I mean, why isn't that the rumor? Why is it the uh, Tony? <laughs> Why is it the, the, the rumor Tony Khan's going to buy Impact Wrestling? Well, maybe Impact Wrestling is going to buy AEW. Okay, but uh, anyway, yeah, you don't normally see it. Naturally, you don't normally you don't normally see it, but we're seeing it now because they want to be different. You know, they're they're giving the fans something, something um, really cool to watch, something very enjoyable, something different to watch, and that's the reason why they're doing it, in my opinion. I don't think Tony Khan wants to buy Impact Wrestling at all, and he was even asked. Um, if he wants to buy Impact Wrestling, and he said no, he said he doesn't want, or does not want to buy Impact Wrestling. Now, naturally, if he was thinking about buying Impact Wrestling and he doesn't want people to know, 
naturally he's going to say no. He doesn't have to say no. But I would think if he was thinking about buying Impact Wrestling, he wouldn't outright say no. I think he would say, well, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Just to kind of leave that in the air and um, and see uh, see what the um, – <coughs> Excuse me. See what the uh, the reaction would be out of the fans. I don't think he would just outright say no, but he he outright did say he came out and he said no. He's not interested in buying Impact Wrestling. Tony Schiavone even said he's not not interested in buying Impact Wrestling. So so I don't see what what the big deal is. First of all, that Tony Khan sitting at ringside scouting. Tony Khan is a professional wrestling fan. Yes, he owns AEW, but he's also a professional wrestling fan, and you could tell he's having an absolute blast with this relationship, with this partnership. It's putting him in the spotlight. That's why he's doing it, in my opinion. It, he's enjoying exactly what he's doing. He's enjoying what he's doing right now. He's loving it. You can see this the, the glowing smile on his face every time he cuts a promo when we're watching um, Impact Wrestling. You saw the glowing smile on his face when he was sitting ringside. He's a fan. He's enjoying it. He, he likes being in the spotlight. So that's why – that's my opinion on why I think he's doing all this. I don't think he's buying – Impact Wrestling. I don't think he's interested in buying Impact Wrestling, and I don't think Anthem is interested in selling Impact Wrestling. Everyone is talking about, oh, wait, oh, Tony Khan's going to buy Impact Wrestling. Who, who says Anthem is interested in selling? I don't think they're interested in selling. Why? Why would they buy their own channel just so they could broadcast Impact Wrestling on it? It, it doesn't make sense. They're they're not interested in selling, and I really don't believe that Tony Khan will be buying Impact Wrestling. I mean, a few years ago, when you think about it, a few years ago, people were saying, oh, Vince McMahon should just buy Impact Wrestling already. Or Vince McMahon is going to buy Impact Wrestling uh, from Dixie Carter. Dixie Carter, they're going to sell. They're going to sell. They might as well just buy it. Vince is going to buy it. He's going to put them out of business. Never happened. Five, ten years down the road, we're going to be saying, oh, Triple H or well, maybe Randy Orton. Randy Orton might be buying Impact Wrestling Um and and bring it on over to the WWE, make it another show for the WWE. You know, that might be seen that in five, ten years. But bottom line is Impact Wrestling, they've survived and they're thriving now and they're doing well. Yes, ratings are ratings aren't moving as they had hoped, but they're putting out a great product and they have great potential to have a great 2021, in my opinion. So Bottom line, my opinion, I believe that Tony Khan will not be buying Impact Wrestling. So Private Party, Private Party is going to be returning to Impact Wrestling. And uh, it was announced, and I, I forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I think it was Genesis. Or I think I think the new the show was Genesis, and I could be wrong. But uh, it was announced nonetheless that the Good Brothers will be defending the Impact world tag team titles against number one contenders private party on the next impact plus show which i believe is genesis if i'm wrong i apologize uh but but private party uh gets the shots and i don't know i mean let's just think private party number one contenders they're aew mid carters and now they're the number one contenders to the AE, to the impact wrestling tag team titles what what about the new talent? <laughs> what about bringing in new guys? What about where, where's the new talent at? Where's the new talent? I mean, where's Blake Christian? Where's Casey? Well, Casey Navarro is AEW Dark, so we're not going to see him. What about Trey Lamar, Killer Kelly, Renee Michelle, the Sea Stars? Wh where are they? Uh, are they are they finished? So we're not going to see them anymore. I mean, they brought in Private Party, great. You know, makes for good TV, AEW tag team with Matt Hardy in Impact Wrestling, going after the Impact Wrestling uh, World Tag Team titles. But this partnership is not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. And I just, I don't want Impact Wrestling to, to become, I don't know, what's the word, become dependent on AEW sending over guys to challenge their champions on their um on their impact plus um shows or their pay-per-views you know that's just I, I don't want them to get dependent on either i want them this is the time now for them to go out and f get that new talent find some new people to bring in yes you know matt cordona good signing there uh, i don't know how long he's going to be there for uh but um like what's happening with blake christian 
what's happening with Blake Christian? We, we saw him, Super X Cup. He just absolutely had a phenomenal match with Ace Austin, and then we don't see him anymore. Well, what's going on? What's going on there? And Killer Kelly, where's Killer Kelly? Renee Michelle, we've seen her on an occasional explosion show. Uh, I mean, think ODB is coming back. Okay, ODB was on the Chris Van Vliet show. And if I pronounce his last name wrong, I apologize again. But uh, she was he she was on uh, his show, and she confirmed that she's returning to Impact Wrestling. I don't think they've made any official announcement yet, but uh, she's confirmed that she's coming back to Impact Wrestling, and she has her eyes on Jazz. Now let's think about that for a second. Chris Van Vliet had had uh, Jazz on not too long ago, and Jazz announced her retirement with. Um, from professional wrestling and then now she showed up on on impact wrestling and she's still wrestling so she hasn't retired and now odb says on chris van Vliet show that and i i'm sorry if i got his last name wrong i i sincerely apologize but uh now she says that she's coming back to impact wrestling and she's and like i said she's looking for looking looking at jazz and she says she's excited about this partnership that she wouldn't mind showing up in aew either you know but what about the new talent? I mean, are, 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 are we getting excited about ODB coming back? Personally, I'm, I'm, I've never really been a huge ODB fan, and I'm not excited that ODB is coming back. I mean, I mean, are you? Are you excited that ODB is, is possibly coming back again? No official announcement has been made from Impact Wrestling. I'm just going by uh, what she says. But what about the new talent? You know, Instead of ODB coming, just bring killer, bring Killer Kelly back. Bring uh, let's see Ray, Renee Michelle. Let's let's see the C star. Let's see somebody new. I mean, ODB coming back doesn't really. It's it, ratings aren't going to go flying through the roof because ODB is coming back. You know, granted, they're not going to go flying through the roof if Kel Killer Kelly or Renee Michelle make an appearance either, but that's something different, something fresh. We don't want to go back to the old, you know, oh, he, oh ODB is coming back and and um, um, maybe Gail Kim could come back and then she could have uh, one more match and uh, who else? Maybe we could bring back the beautiful people. Like, let's go back. Let's, let's bring all these people back. What about the new talent? You know, and I, I talk about this a lot. I talk about this a lot. And I'm, I, it's, what about the new talent? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you know, I want to see some new fresh talent in Impact Wrestling. You know, I know there, there's a, um, they posted on their, uh, I think it was their Twitter or I forgot the wrestler's name. I know there's a new guy that, that I think just debuted on Explosion. His name is, escapes me. I believe his opponent was Sammy Callan. His name escapes me. And that's 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 great. There's some new stuff. We see some new talent. Explosion should actually be a show where they showcase new talent. That's what Explosion should be. Um, Trey Lamar, Trey Lamar. I, I think Trey Lamar. We didn't see the best of Trey Lamar because because his his opponent was Crazy Steve uh, at the Super X Cup. But Trey Lamar, very very talented. Lee Moriarty, terrific talents. We saw him on 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 Explosion against uh, I think it was Chris Sabin, which was a which was a great match. Was it no? It wasn't Chris Sabin? I'm sorry, it wasn't Chris Sabin. Uh, Chris Sabin took on Ben Carter. Um, I can't remember Lee Moriarty's uh, opponent, but uh, Lee Moriarty had great match, great talent. So let's forget about ODB. You know, I mean, if you want to bring ODB back for a one-off match or something? That's great. But I mean, apparently she's at the she's going to be at the next set of tapings, and she's going to be re taping that. I mean, oh, she says she has her eyes on Jazz. Honestly. ODB against Jazz? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it just it doesn't doesn't appeal to me. It doesn't appeal to me. It doesn't appeal to me, man. So um, hopefully they can get their uh, hopefully they get their uh, their act together with the new talents, man. We we need to see, like I said, you know, don't become dependent on AEW. Don't think, oh, we could fall back on AEW. Maybe we'll uh, pull one of the another AEW tag team and we'll uh, showcase them on um, Impact. Um, because right now, uh, the only uh, impact talent that we're seeing on AEW are the Good Brothers. We're not seeing anybody else. I would like to see somebody else. Yeah, I, I know uh, Kiera Hogan, Tasha Steeles, the, the Knockouts Tag Team Champions, uh, they were 
they cut a promo about AEW. I would love to see them show up on AEW. Uh, I'd love to see Sammy Callahan uh, show up on AEW, maybe possibly assist John Moxley in his feud with um, with Kenny Omega. Uh, I think that would be uh, that would be terrific. Uh, but as of right now, it's just been the Good Brothers, and I think uh, honestly, I think that that's all AEW would really be interested in right now. Would be would would be the good brothers. While Impact would be interested in basically anybody, you know, from 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 uh, AEW. So, but they they can't get too dependent on on AEW sending over like uh, Private Party and Matt Hardy showing up, and and maybe there's some other tag teams that could come over. Or maybe they we could we could get uh, one or two guys on the on their mid card and bring them over and challenge um, TJP for the. X Division Championship. We can't we can't be dependent on that. Can't be dependent on that. Uh, they need to start finding their new talent. They're finding their own talents, and um, start manufacturing their own stars. And you know, I I would like to see them start doing more of that. And um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Kenny Omega is actually not going to be on on Impact TV for a while, and I think that's a smart move. I think uh, his appearances sitting on a couch, sitting on the couch with uh, Don Callis and the Good Brothers in the in the uh, in the bus was getting a little stale. Uh, so it's good that we're not going to be seeing him for a while, but he'll be back uh, for Rebellion, and I'm sure he'll make an appearance a few weeks before Rebellion. But I think it's it's the right move taking Kenny Omega off Impact Wrestling TV for now because uh, again, uh, it was just getting a little stale in my opinion. Um, so you take him off now, you kind of miss him, and then when he comes back, it'll be it'll be great again. So looking forward to uh, Kenny Omega returning to to impact wrestling tv uh the social media team let's talk about the social media team because this is a little bit embarrassing you know i mean this is supposed to be a a, a top company right impact wrestling a, a top professional wrestling company and the social media team actually they put up uh, they posted on twitter a picture of rich swan Rich Swan holding the TNA world title, looking at it, and they confused Rich Swan with Falaba. So they wrote Falaba looks at the TNA world heavyweight title, and it's Rich Swan holding up the title. And the kicker to this is <laughs> the kicker to this whole thing is Rich Swan is wearing a Rich Swan t-shirt but they still got it wrong they still call them falaba and you know there's no typo there you're not going to type in rich swan and falaba is going to magically appear because of because of autocorrect uh that was a mistake somebody looked at the picture and said oh falaba typed in falaba someone who clearly is not watching impact wrestling someone who clearly doesn't know anything about impact wrestling or they're not paying attention to impact wrestling but they're on the social media team and um they confused Rich Swan for from from Falaba. Um, the tweet was deleted, but um, a few websites few websites caught the screenshot and they posted it up. And that's very embarrassing. That's very that's that's their world champion. That's the Impact Wrestling World Champion, and the social media social media team, despite the Impact Wrestling World Champion wearing a Rich Swan T shirt, got the name wrong. They call them Falaba. Very embarrassing. Very, 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 very embarrassing. Okay. That's it really for me, man. That's I just wanted to jump on and, and uh, talk about those things. I'm actually looking forward to Josh Alexander starting his uh, solo solo run. Uh, I think I'm going to make a bold prediction, actually. I'm going to say Josh Alexander is going to be the Impact Wrestling World Champion within six or seven months, maybe sooner. Uh, but he does have world title capabilities. He will be a great representative uh, to hold that Impact Wrestling World title. So I'm going to call it right now. Josh Alexander will be the Impact Wrestling World Champion in about six to seven months. It's about six to seven months he will have that belt. Uh, he's tremendous, tremendous talent. And I know, you know, I'm looking forward to his solo run. I know on the next um, episode of Impact Wrestling, uh, he's going to be teaming with Matt Cardona. Could be an interesting team. Um, and but uh, I would like to see them take him away from tag team and get him into that solo run because. 
he's just fantastic. I'm very, very excited to see uh, Josh Alexander and what he can do as a solo star in Impact Wrestling. All righty. Well, thank you very much for listening to me today. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North, heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.